live from Studio C, you're watching Chronicle in High Definition. Plenty of corporations recognize the importance of charitable giving, and some companies go an extra mile, freeing up their workers to give back in person. Mary has more on that in just a moment, but first, a story of kids helping kids. I started volunteering at Cradles to Crowns when I was eight years old, so that would make it about four years ago. Every Tuesday, Samantha Goldthwaite of Braintree comes to this Quincy warehouse to inspect toys and fill orders for children she's never met. They don't really have much, so when they ask for stuff, it's the stuff that they really need. Each week, three to four hundred homeless and low-income children get what they need from cradles to crayons, toys, clothes, and everyday essentials. Some are new, some gently used, most collected through community drives. Executive Director Lynn Margirio. We deliver those goods through partnerships with service agencies, community health centers, hospitals, shelters. Who are the children they serve? Kids who want to be astronauts, who want to be teachers, who want to be scientists and doctors, um, but they live in families that don't have enough. These are families that often live on three to four hundred dollars a month, says Charity Bell of the Mass Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. When you have a mother who has a new baby who can't take her new baby out of the hospital without a car seat, she has to choose between paying a light bill and buying a car seat. Today, Belle is delivering clothes, activity books, and a stroller to a mother in Boston. She has a two-year-old who's recently had surgery on her legs and is in casts. And unfortunately, she's having a very hard time getting her around. Oh, you're so big. Keep pulling. It's a really great mom who is working very hard to supply for her kids what they need. And without those basics, you can't possibly concentrate on the really important things that allow a child not just to survive, but to thrive. Serving children in need is only one part of Cradles to Crayon's mission. The second part of our mission is to be an avenue for young people, for adults, for families to give back. And to experience the satisfaction of making a difference in a child's life. It feels good because you're helping other kids to feel good. Now this month the push at uh, Cradles to Crayons is to make sure every child has what they need to go back to school. Mm. So they're asking folks to sponsor a backpack filled with school supplies for 10 bucks. And if you can't do that or don't have the money to do that or just want to help and volunteer, one thing you can do is go to City Hall Plaza on August right. 17th and you put the backpacks together so they're ready to go backpack for the kids. If you want more information on that, you can go to thebostonchannel.com on the Chronicle section and you will find more info. Connecting on Commonwealth 5 when Chronicle continues.